Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of February. So I'm going to get the February done, then I'm going to go back to the weeklies. I like to get my readings done about a month ahead of time, the monthlies. I'd like to get them out a month ahead of time. I try to, anyway. Anyhow, so what do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February? What do we have for Aquarius? One card, please. The Magician. So the Magician is a divine connection. This is uh, success. You're creating something that is going to be successful. This is uh, taking action, uh, doing something that is going to bring you success. So whatever you're doing, it's going to bring you success. This is this is you doing the work that you need to do, doing whatever you need to do to bring success. So you're going to have it. This is getting what you asked for. This is as above, so below. The work that you are doing right now is going to bring you some sort of success. This is a yes answer. This is you creating something that is going to grow, okay? Your determination and your effort is going to pay off. So something is happening here because you're creating it. You are creating something. Um, there's a lot of happiness here. I feel like you're, whatever you're doing, Whatever you're doing is, it's almost like you're creating your own happiness. Look at that. There's the yes. Yes. I just saw it too. There it is. There's the yes. So yes, the answer is yes. You've been asking for something. You've been working on something. You're going to get what you asked for. Whatever it is, you're going to get it. You're gonna, it's very positive. It's a very positive energy. So you're going to get something that is going to make you smile. Put it that way. <laughs> Guess we'll take those. This is about passion. This is too. This is great passion. So your passion is paying off. You know, the passion that you have for something. I feel like it's a time of growth for you this month as well. Things are gonna things are gonna happen fast as well. I think that things are gonna grow really, really, really fast for you. I feel like you're vibrating at a very high level. I feel like you have a divine connection with Source, and Source is helping you or your ability to grow things it's like by magic. It's like you have this magic about you, and your positive thinking is manifesting very, very quickly into whatever you are telling the universe that you want. You know what I'm saying? So you're you're going to be getting what you want. Whatever you're whatever you're thinking, whatever you're doing, it's manifesting very very fast. So, yeah. Dark woman dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. So you're going to be dealing with a dark woman this month. Um that could also be you if you're a woman watching this. Ma the magician is a doer. So somebody is going to be doing something that uh, brings them a lot of happiness by the looks of things. There's going to be a lot of passion um, that is developing, that is growing very, very fast. Um, what do we have for Aquarius? Children, your love life is being affected by children. So that's something that uh, you're going to be dealing with this month. Put it that way. So your love life is affected by children. What do we have for Aquarius? Creating something. You're in charge. You're very, very aware. You're very focused. And because you're so aware and so focused, things are going to happen. Things are definitely going to happen. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles reversed. So there's some sort of insecurities here. Somebody's insecure. 
They're unstable. They're not enjoying their life. I don't think it's I don't think it's not you. You know, I don't think it's you. You could be dealing with somebody that's insecure. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There could be somebody that doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth, that doesn't, I don't know if they don't respect you or what the case is. Um, Nine of Pentacles reverse. You must take action. You need to take action in some way. I don't know if you're dealing with a moocher. You know, I don't know where that's coming from. You could be dealing with somebody who doesn't have much to offer and you need to take action. Hmm. Oh, we had a flipper. Four of yeah, it's interesting. I said I don't know if you're working. You're dealing with a moocher, you know. That's somebody who needs stability that wants to hold on to money. I'm not sure if you, you could be dealing, or maybe you were in the past. I don't know. We have somebody here that is all about stability, but they're unstable. They're insecure. They're jealous. They're um, lazy. They're not qualified. They don't put in much effort. They may not be very faithful or something there could be some unfaithfulness and this person looks very stern i think we have somebody here that may have been holding on just for the money just for the stability you know just for the money but i think that's in the past because i feel like you're taking action to create something better because you realize that whoever you're dealing with uh, maybe you realize that they don't complete you or they, you realize that they're just holding on for, for what you can provide for them financially. Because this is, this is financial, you know. Now this is, for some of you, if it's, this is job related, if, you're been, if you have been uh, struggling financially, um, you may have been staying in a place that isn't paying you very well or something like that and holding on to it just for the money. I think that you should pack up and leave. Somebody may be packing up and leaving, you know, whether it's you or another person, whether it's job related or it's home related or relationship related. We could even have children that are leaving the home, you know, just saying uh, there could be some children that are leaving. There's definitely something to do with children here. You could be dealing with a woman that is... Um, very, very stubborn, very, very stubborn, very, very, um, I don't know, it feels like you got a nasty woman here, just saying, for some of you, you got a, na it feels like you got a nasty woman here that wants to fight over the kids, and I don't know if that's going to be for everybody, that may only be for a few people, but it feels like we have somebody here that, you know, is wanting money, maybe they just want the kids for the money or something, you got to be careful, you got to be careful for that. Anyhow, you are going to be successful in whatever you are doing. Whoever you are dealing with, I feel like uh Wow, frustrated, very, very frustrated, unbalanced. You're dealing with somebody who um isn't very I feel like they're not very faithful I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's not very faithful they're not very spiritual they're unbalanced they engage in negative behavior there's inappropriate behavior here I feel like there's this is like a dead-end situation where there's somebody that is I don't know if they're mentally ill or they're sick or something and they need your they want they want money or they want to hold on to something they're just really stubborn they want control I, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who isn't really committed. They're not really committed. They're not very spiritual for sure. Um, they're insecure. They're not happy with a situation. They're not happy with your growth or they're not happy with your decision. I feel like you have done something. You have created something very, very abundant. And I feel like you're in a very good position and you have somebody around you that is very upset. They're upset. They want control. They can't do the right thing. They're, they're under a lot of social pressure. I'm not sure if this is a father. You may be, be dealing with a father. Could also be dealing with a mother. Okay. We have somebody here that is, I feel like they're mentally unbalanced. Mentally unbalanced. You, I mean... Four of Swords, next is the Temperance card, both reverse. So there's somebody here that is mentally unbalanced, and I feel like they don't listen to any advice. Uh, they're controlled by another person or by society. That's why they can't do the right thing. Um, there's some sort of freedom from obligation here or, you know, wanting to take something from you. Somebody wants to take something from you. And it's all about power and control. Um, you're dealing with a Taurus, a Sagittarius, 
Uh, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, could also be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like you are, <laughs> there's a lot of frustrations here. I feel like you're going to be getting, somebody's frustrated. They're frustrated with you. They're frustrated with your success. And I feel like they are having a hard time doing the right thing. And they're very, they're under a lot of social pressure to hold on to something of, it feels like monetary value. And that's why they can't do the right thing. You know, they can't do the right thing. So this is interesting. Um, what is this four of swords reverse? That's, that's definitely, I don't know if you're dealing with some health issues. There could be some health issues here for these two cards. You may need to slow down. You may need to take a break. You know, you could end up costing yourself some money if you're overdoing it. Try not to overdo it this month. You know, try to relax, take a break, get some sleep, try to balance out your, uh, responsibilities okay I feel like you've been working really really hard you're been I feel like you could be overdoing it I think you need to slow down and relax take a little break you know don't let society that the, the the need to compete with society take over you okay take over your health okay I think you need to focus on your health a little bit this month I feel like you could be overindulging and I think that you need to take a step back and uh reflect on whatever it is you're overindulging in um there's a need for discipline here there's a lack of discipline so you're going to need to have discipline you may need to have discipline to uh really take a break i feel like you're trying to do too much honestly i know i'm changing this story but i feel like you're trying to do a lot there's too much going on right here and it's about money maybe it's all about making money making money making money you know and maybe you have plenty you know, uh, relax, Aquarius, relax, do some meditation, breathe, take a minute. You don't want to hurt yourself. Okay. I feel like you are very much passionate about creating abundance in your life and you are working hard to create abundance, create abundance. That doesn't mean that you should work yourself to death. so interesting you know it's working on the bank account right you got to keep that bank account up there where we all do right but don't neglect your children okay don't neglect your children or your family or your home or whatever it is this is definitely going overboard not healthy going to extremes now there's healing that is needed with these two cards. So there's some sort of healing that needs to be done. I don't, maybe you've separated from somebody and you need to take time to heal. Don't rush into a commitment. Maybe this is about creating your new life. You're the one and that the magician is about one. It's not about two. It's about one. Okay. So maybe you concentrate on you this month. You concentrate on you. Healing you and creating the life that you want. So I feel like that's what this is. I feel like you're not about commitment. Being single for a little while. You know, I feel like for some of you, not for everybody, obviously. There could be some upheaval that is happening as well. There, we could have the end of a marriage here, the end of a commitment with that. I'm just saying. There could be some upheaval. It could be somebody that's packing up and leaving home. They're becoming independent. You know, they're taking action to become independent. And it's not going to be easy. It's really, really, really not going to be easy. But you have the resources and the power to be successful. You are the creator of your life. You're the creator. So I do believe that you are in a position of creating. You are in the position of creating uh, something beautiful, right? But it's, it's going to probably cost you your health if you don't slow down and take time. You don't need to rush into anything. You don't need to rush into a marriage. Or rush into a commitment. I feel like you could be, you know, some of you are dealing with somebody that's not faithful. I'm just being honest with you. Ten of swords reversed. Now, 
The Ten of Swords reversed is a near-death experience or a relapse or something coming back for the dead. It could even be recovery problems or chronic health problems or something like that. You really need to focus on your health before you I mean you could get sick. Now, somebody from the past could be coming back around for some of you. Because this is something, something coming back from the dead and here we have the past. Maybe somebody wants a reconciliation. This person has not changed. They have not changed. They may say that they have changed. They're under a lot of social pressure. Maybe they're struggling financially. You have created abundance for yourself. Beware. I feel like maybe you took a break. Maybe somebody took a break from you. Maybe maybe they mingled with somebody else. You know, now now they they need your financial security. They need the security that you offer. Be careful. The lovers. The lovers, the unexpected choice in love. So you absolutely are going to have an unexpected choice in love. This is a major choice. There's consequences in either direction. This could be a healing love or it could be a disaster. You have two options when you get the lover's card. There's two options here. You can connect with somebody that you are very much in alignment with or you can cling to the past. So there is somebody from the past that you know that may have already ended. This person is unbalanced. They may be frustrated. They may upset, be upset. You know, they don't treat you very well. They uh, didn't really want commitment. Maybe they were fearful of commitment. They, 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 they uh, um, I don't know, it feels like they just about killed you. You know, that kind of energy, you know, it feels very painful. It does. It feels like this was very draining and it feels like this person is coming back around and they're going to be one of your options. And I think you have another option here as well. But I feel like this other option is, it feels like you've got a test to pass. You have to pass this test. Right now, you're in control. You're doing great. Get prepared for something to come back around that caused you a lot of pain. That's what, exactly what this is. And I feel like you're in a happy place. You're in a really, really happy place. And this just really messes up everything. This really does. Hmm. One more card. And that is it. Well, I guess we're going to get two. Strength and the nine of cups. You're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to be strong. Hold your head up high. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. This is about wish fulfillment and happiness. You're in a very, very happy place. Do not let this person mess up your abundance. I feel like this month you're going to be, you're going to, it feels like it's like a, you're going to be looking really good too. You're going to be looking good. You're going to be feeling good. You're going to be, uh, it's almost like very attractive. I can't think of the word, but you're going to be, people are going to be feeling your vibration, put it that way. You're going to be glowing. You're going to be, look, you're going to have a lot of sex appeal. You're going to be, um, having a lot of fun. I feel like you're going to be having fun. You're going to be smiling and there's going to be somebody that comes in and tests your current happiness. Okay. So, um, yeah, 
I feel like you need, you're going to need to uh, hold, hold strong to your convictions of, 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 of who you are, of your character. I feel like you have uh, done a lot of healing. I feel like you've become a different person. I feel like uh, you're really, really happy where you're at. And there's somebody coming to test your character you know what what you've become you're definitely going to be recognized this month no doubt about it you are being recognized but remember who you are you need to have self-respect whoever this person is that mistreated you didn't respect you Now that you're glowing and you're healed and you're strong and you're happy, hold on to that. Good luck.